We are working new developments tonight in Sunday's deadly plane crash in Plainville. This afternoon, recovery teams finished removing the wreckage of the small aircraft that just slammed into a house, killing three people and destroying the home. Highway News News reporter Jared Pliner joins us now live from Bridal Path in Plainville with the Mobile Newsroom. Mike, good evening. A call evening for the first time in three evenings now. And if you take a look here, as we're going to show you, a completely clear cul-de-sac. That is not to say all is normal. A most haunting close-up Wednesday, the tale of the Beechcraft Bonanza that once carried a father, mother, and daughter pulled to street level on Plainville's bridal path. From behind the home, it turned into a fireball over the weekend. The scorched gray and blue very close to this scheme. We also saw workers carrying part of a wing. They're bringing away the plane in bags, basically, and it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking. One of those bags, authorities tell us, contains the engine headed to the manufacturer that built it to look at a hole the NTSB says it found in the engine's crankcase. Tennessee doctor Rick Callister, wife Betty, and daughter Nicole were on a leg from Lancaster, Pennsylvania to Norwood for Nicole's freshman orientation in Boston. When the single engine plane went down on a wooded cul-de-sac, they had no reason to know, many miles from Athens, Tennessee. The family of four inside the Colonial was remarkably spared rushing out after the explosion. People here say the wreckage's departure doesn't make it any less chilling on Bridal Path. As long as the house is there, you know, that, that's a daily reminder for the people that are actually on the cul-de-sac that something catastrophic and devastating happened and that lives were changed forever because of it. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, support grows for that surviving family. Live in Plainville tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News. We are working the latest developments now on last weekend's deadly plane crash in Plainville. On Live at 5, we told you crews removed the entire plane wreckage from the crash site today. Now new at 6, the fundraising effort for the surviving family continues to grow. And Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner joins us now live in Plainville tonight with the very latest. Jared? Mike, good evening. One family gone, the other being taken care of by those around them. As you mentioned, the wreckage is cleaned up, but the ordeal is more complicated than that. A blink. Neighbor Liz Brown not only describing what happened here, but how fast life can change. Workers chainsawing Wednesday through the tail of the Beechcraft Bonanza, carrying a Tennessee doctor, his wife, and their daughter when it turned this Plainville home into a fireball Sunday, killing them, but sparing the family in the colonial. The remnants of a nightmare. You see the light affixed to the top of the tail and the marking. Beechcraft. The plane's engine, authorities tell us, taken away in a white bag. The manufacturer is going to look at internal damage the NTSB says it found. Meanwhile, the GoFundMe page launched to help the family of four who have their lives and the love of the community now in excess of 16 grand in just two days. What really haunts people here is that a family bringing their daughter to college orientation died in a plane on their street. Locals say the Callisters as if they knew them. They didn't, and tragically, they won't. That's what I keep thinking. And people continue to drive by to get a look at the home. Now that the road is once again open, you see fencing surrounding the home with private property posted tonight. Live in Plainville this evening with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.